Charlotte, North Carolina. A city which prides itself on being the capital of the new south of the United States. A cosmopolitan center of banking and finance. Most definitely a modern American city. Professional wrestling has been staged in Charlotte since the 1930s. And tonight, the faithful at the Grady Cole Center have assembled for a bill with a difference. An annual extravaganza featuring performers from around the world. For Andre Baker, promoter of Hammerlock Wrestling in Kent, this is the big time. He's booked three of his wrestlers on the show. Alan Moores from Canterbury, who performs as the arch snob Sebastian P. Sterling. Johnny Moss, an engineering graduate from the Lake District. And his protege, Gary Steele. Acknowledged as the country's top professional wrestler, Steele, a security guard from Gravesend, is to challenge for the world title. He's already had two losing efforts at the belt. A third loss will certainly be his last. This is a massive event tonight, involving some very important people in respect of the organisation and participating in it. Um, it's the place to be today. Um, and where else would you get three British guys all on a bill at the same time on an event in, in America? Um, broken new ground, definitely broken new ground. One minute Canterbury, next minute Charlotte. While the action heats up in the ring, backstage the British trio are feeling tense. I'm one of these people who gets really nervous. I'm all, I'm all like, once I'm in the, in the ring and the match has started, it's just beforehand. Like, when it gets to about a quarter of an hour to go, then I'll start, the old art starts going, I start thinking, oh, it's getting a bit nerve-wracking now. And the worst part for me is waiting behind the curtain just before they announce me. And that is when I really start to get nervous. showing off definitely that's what this business is about if you don't have a good attitude a, a good uh, persona you're not going to make it in this business so quit just forget about it colorful characters who know exactly how to make a visitor feel welcome we love it when the brits come over here we love it you bring the guys over here and then we get in the ring we show them how wrestling really is and we put them through the mat and we send them back home i wouldn't even bother putting my boots on for some blimey brit American That's American exactly American. what I think about the British invasion. Oh, right. I forgot mine. I'm glad you brought yours. <laughs> That's a good answer. Little Mardi Gras. Alan Moores is the first English wrestler due on. He's been suffering with nerves during the build-up to the event. Well, I'm not as nervous as I was earlier, funnily enough. Um, I was thinking a lot about it last night and this morning. Uh, then I calmed down a lot this afternoon. It really went right out of my mind, and now I'm starting to feel a bit nervous again. But, you know, I think, I think it's all going to be OK. But first, Alan's got to choose his entrance music, and that's proving difficult. It's like opera. Is that kind of thing, yeah. Everything. Like a Michael Bolton or something like that. Like a, um, an orchestra type thing. I've got that one, it's The Heart Will Go Out, the thing from Titanic. Uh, no, I think it's too accessible. Something instrumental that sounds like it consists of violins and all that kind of, you know, thing. Really? You got anything like that at all? I can look through it. Okay. Alan's opponent, the heavily tattooed Canadian biker, Easy Rider. The whole wrestling business, it's kind of a great way to escape reality. People say, well, you know, wrestling's not real. You know what? To some degree, it may not be real. But what we do takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of skill. And it's a hell of a relief from the real world that we so-called perceive the 9 to 5 world. And speaking of the 9 to 5 world, I happen to be a school teacher. After the fuss over the music, Sebastian P. Sterling, English country gentleman, is ready to face the American public.
it doesn't take long for the English snob to aggravate the watching Americans. The American debut of Sebastian P. Sterling is destined to be an unsuccessful one. Actually, um, I mean, I tried to start things off on the very first moment I went out there, and uh, I think it was, I think it went over very well. I was um, pleasantly surprised with everything. Um, very easy to work with, um, easy rider, and uh, easy crowd to work as well. All in all, I'm pleased with it. United Kingdom versus. It's Canada. Johnny Moss's turn next. He's been trying to stay composed amid the mayhem backstage. <laughs> I never win a match and I've always got a belt. Life is good. The only reason why he wears this belt is because they do not make one that fits him anywhere the world. Oh, oh, that hurt. Look at that beautiful robe. I'm, blue blood should be running through my veins. I know it has to be someplace. I considered myself to be the only American knighted by the Queen, as you can see by this photograph right here. <laughs> You certainly know, definitely. I mean, a large crowd I've ever worked in front of 300 people in Folkestone, and now there's going to be 3,000 people out there, so it's quite a change. Quite a change. It's a whole different environment as well. I mean, I'm normally in a dressing room with guys who I've been with for years, but now, different set of people. You know, the nerves are set definitely set. Johnny's involved in an 11 man elimination brawl, and the action's in full swing by the time he receives the call to arms. the rules a wrestler is eliminated when he's ejected from the ring over the top rope. Take him out of here. Let's just start with practicing written, rough and tough. That's where we like it. We are breath of the minute though. But we are really enjoyed that. Although I didn't win, that's not what counts. As I was pleased with my performance, I thought I threw in a couple of good moves there. But um, I just thought I'd give these Americans a little taste of the British style, the Hamelock style. It's all about putting a show entertaining people. And hopefully I did just that. Gary Steele's moment draws closer, but it's not quite what he thought it was. A straight match for the title. The promoters have added a twist. It's what is called a three-way dance. 
Uh, we have three different competitors, Ogawa the champion, a guy named Brian Anthony, and Gary Steele. So Gary's going to have to be thinking throughout the match, because it's a very easy match where he could do all the damage to Ogawa, and Brian Anthony could get the cheap win. So this is going to be interesting. This isn't one-on-one. -on -one. This has a little bit more, a few more chess pieces are on the board. And uh, I don't know if he's ever done this before. I don't know if he's ever been in a three-way dance before. And it does take a specific mindset going into it. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm not really too happy about this. I mean, I've only been informed about this just now, recently. And, uh, well, not only have I got to worry about Ogawa, I've now got to worry about Brian Anthony. So I can't let Ogawa pin him or him pin Ogawa because he'll, he'll get the title. So I'm a bit, a bit concerned about that. But, I mean, I'm not going to bitch and complain. What's done is done. I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to this song I'm going to try and enjoy it. And just fingers crossed, basically. Fingers crossed. Professional wrestling is nothing without its fans, and a major element of the weekend in Charlotte is the pre-match fan convention. An opportunity for spectators to meet their heroes in person, and plenty of chances to buy some merchandise too. British contingent are on hand, enjoying an event that has a feel-good factor for all involved. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. The legends of yesterday in attendance include Abdullah the Butcher, the self-styled madman from the Sudan, whose penchant for self-mutilation is all too evident. And Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, a Charlotte native and a local hero. You tell those old war stories, you know. And then you get a couple of really old timers together, and they're always trying to outdo each other who's got the best story with what opponent and who got their, their eye poked out or who got their finger broke or something like that, you know. It's, it's a classic. Penny Banner was a leading performer in the 50s, 60s and 70s. Since she retired more than 20 years ago, the nature of women's wrestling has changed beyond recognition. It's certainly not like it is today. Back then, we bought a regular bathing suit and we took the straps off the top and put surgical tubing in there and put elastic around the legs just to be sure nothing would show. Today, they wear hair extensions. How do you wear hair extensions when you wrestle? Back then, we wore falsies back then in our breasts so that we wouldn't, when we got thrown and hit the ropes and got kicked, you know, we would protect ourselves with this falsie that was between the suit and us. And today, they have implants. And, you know, I mean, you fall, and what do you bust an implant? Uh, today, I, I couldn't watch their skills. I mean, what do you, I'm, I'm so afraid something's going to fall out. You know, it's terrible. I just think it's awful. The World Heavyweight Champion's belt. This is what Gary Steele wants. The champion, Nayo Ogawa from Japan, aims to keep it. And the third man in the ring, Brian Anthony, also believes that his time is now. Yeah, I've been in business nine years. This is probably my biggest night. Over the last couple of months, I've just been beating everybody and put my stake in the claim as, as being a legitimate contender for the title. And they, they voted me in. Now it's a three-way dance. And from what I understand, I have the advantage because neither one of them two have ever done a three-way dance before. Some final words of advice and encouragement for Gary from his promoter and friend, Andre Baker. Gary is, uh, is Mr. Layback, but sometimes, no matter who you are, you can't be laid back. Certain situations won't allow you, no matter how laid back you are normally. Obviously, he's very, very nervous. It's the third time I'm with this, this Japanese guy, Norawa Gawa. He's lost twice. This is the third time. If he doesn't do it this time, he's probably not going to get another chance. He has got so much to prove. He's the centre stage. If he gets the world title, then uh, there's going to be a lot of money to be earned and a, a lot of good fortune coming his way. Ladies and gentlemen, your next spell. It is a three-way dance for the NWA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first.
The rules of the contest are very simple. The first man to pin either of his rivals will be the champion. So it's in the interest of all three men to make sure their opponents don't gain an advantage. And the American, Brian Anthony, seems content to let the other two wear each other out. Ogawa twice before, the Japanese fighter's martial arts background being employed to good effect. And once again, the man from Gravesend is on the receiving end. I can't believe it. I've never. I just. I just can't believe. It. I can't describe how I feel. I can't say. There's no words to describe how I feel right now. This is just the most unbelievable thing that's ever happened to me. That I've always wanted it, but deep down, I just never, never really thought it would happen. And now, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I can't. I can't. I just don't know what to say. I've never been so happy. I just can't stop smiling. I'm just grabbing everyone, hugging everyone. I'm just. This is. This is the greatest night of my life. I did it. I did it. Not bad for someone who started out in Graves End. As everyone said, I'd never get anywhere. Well, I'll tell you something. I've not done too bad. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah. Congratulations. Post-mortem time for the former title holder. But for Gary Steele, world heavyweight champion, the celebrations have barely begun. All right. Okay. It was great, but let me tell you this, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gary Steele. <laughs> oh, that was blown. Typical of him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. the next challenge. I, I know. No, no. I, I know. I know. It's, wait, it's fresh shoot. All right, Jim, wait. Go to shake my hand. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you think, why am I doing all this? But when, I, when, I, when we travel up to Charlotte, like where I've done, and uh, I'm there, and there's Gary winning the world title, yeah, it's, 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 it sort of makes it seem worthwhile. It's been a long, long week. Um, 
It's very emotional as well. I bought a bit of tears today, honestly. So, like, yeah. Hold it, I'm it. I'm it. No, I'm it. You have to go to the table. There you go, then. Best run for Give it to security. I'll look after it. <laughs> Wrestlers are meant to be tough, and uh, you know a lot of people think like to be tough. And uh, but sometimes I think it takes a real man to admit that things choke you or, or bring a bit of a tear to your eye. And uh, you know I'm I'm man enough to admit that. And I think some of the other boys on the team are as well, Gary included. The wrestling business is definitely not normal. You've got to have a screw loose to be involved. I mean, look at the, some of the guys you've seen in the shows. They're wild. They're outrageous. But that's got to be better and sitting in an office from nine to five. When you're out there with guys that are loud, that are obnoxious, they're in your face. They're having a laugh all the time. It's non-stop laughter and enjoyment. And you can go out there, you can have your 15 minutes of fame, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can shout, you can scream, you can be loud. And I mean, surely that's got to be a lot more fun than a nine to five job. It's got to be. I'm heading back now to Gravesend. I'm just going to be another face in the crowd. No one's going to know. No one's going to. No one knows who I am. No one's going to come out, come up to me on the street and go, "Oh, you're Gary Steele. You're the world champion." It's not going to happen. But I mean, I don't care. I know, and that's the most important thing. I know that I went there and I did it. I did my best, and I accomplished something that I've always wanted to accomplish. So yeah, I'm going to go back to a nine to five job. I'm going to go back and just be another face in the crowd. But hey, I've done something that not a lot of people have done. I'm on top of the world, and I don't want this feeling to go away. No matter how much you know about football. Brian Giggs is f***ing and trapped wind. Angus. Trouble sleeping sometimes. Millions trust Nightall to gently help. Why don't you? You can ride.